Libra, you are up for the August love energy reading. As for this reading, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person here reading energy tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now, let's go ahead and get into this. This, uh, hmm. okay, so long story short, as the title says, they can't stop talking to their ex. More than likely, you are not together with this person right now, or you're about to just cut this person off or, or separate or do whatever you feel you need to do. I feel that you've warned this person before, like, hey, can you kind of stop talking to your ex? And then you found out they were talking to the ex in secret. Like, after you brought it up, you found out they were talking to them in secret. The card that came out is a third party intervention has destroyed our connection. A third party intervention has destroyed our connection. Mm, 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 mm. And that's what, it, honestly, so I'm just hearing this. That's, it's not necessarily them talking to their ex that upsets you. It's them taking relationship advice from their ex. That is what upsets you. It would be one thing if it was someone else. But I feel like because it's the ex, and that's what I feel this is kind of stemming from. Maybe you were having issues with this person before. And the ex is the one that they go vent to. And it's like, really, out of all the people that you talk to, you you that's who you're going to talk to? So I feel that's the energy. If it isn't that, even though I feel it is, if it isn't that, then it's just talking in general. Like having regular conversations, being friends with the ex, stuff like that. And the strange thing is, I mean... I'm not getting any kids, but I guess there could be. It's just, yeah. The second card, at this moment, I think we should be friends. At this moment, I think we should be friends. Now, your person, their energy, don't lose faith. Good things are ahead of us. Don't lose faith. Good things are ahead of us. And then the second card. I want to reach out for you now. I want to reach out for you now. Again, I feel like you're not really talking. Now, the moon card, secrets, Cancer Pisces energy. Some of you could be dealing with that sign. Came out. And I feel like there was some dishonesty here. And the tower came out reversed. This is telling me that I feel when you discovered they were still talking to their ex, like they were talking to their ex secretly, you brought it to their attention. You said what you had to say. And basically that was their chance to get right. You, you were giving them a chance to keep the tower from falling or at least to delay the fall of the tower. And they still chose to talk to the ex anyway. Your card came out, which is the Empress. Empress is Libra energy, Taurus energy, and Cancer energy. And that is pretty much how you view yourself. You're like, why am I not the one that you would talk to? Or why is it that you keep... Because you see it as a sign where there's a lack of respect. Why is there a lack of respect for what I'm asking you to do? Empress energy. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. And in the middle, because you have the Queen of Pentacles, which is more than likely the other party. And this is Earth energy. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They could be dealing with that sign. In the middle of the two, because if you notice with these two cards, because usually um, they're looking to the left or they're looking to the right. These particular cards, they're looking at each other. So the Empress is looking at the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is looking at the Empress. So both of you know about each other. Both of you know the conversations are going on. I also feel like there's a little bit of an annoyance because it's like, okay, you see me and I see you. Why are you entertaining phone calls from the person I'm with? You should be the one too. not just, I mean, it's on him, but also it's on you. Where that person should be saying, or at least that's how you're looking at it, like she should be, or he should be saying, hey, 
you're with someone. I understand how you know you want to talk and everything, but maybe we shouldn't talk as much out of respect for the Empress. That that's kind of also your pet peeve as well. Now, between you, you have the Queen of Wands, <clears throat> you have the Death card, and you have Judgment. And the Queen of Wands attracts attention, but also the Queen of Wands demands attention. I feel you're in a Queen of Wands energy, and you're like, look, if you can't give me the attention I need, it's a done deal. I'm making a decision. And my decision in the rest of my life won't involve you. If you can't make a decision, I'll put it into it with the death card, Scorpio energy. And I'll make a decision with judgment. If you can't figure out who you're giving your attention to, because right now I should be the only one you're giving attention to. It's great to have friends and stuff, but not friends with your ex. That That's enough. And that's been your energy because all it's been doing is creating conflict. Creating conflict where you feel you should be happy. You don't want to be a negative Nancy. You want joy and celebration and good vibes around you. You want to enjoy life. You don't want to deal with all this extra with people who can't be honest about what they're doing. And that's why I feel you're making a decision and putting an end to it or have made a decision and put an end to it. Regardless of how they feel about coming back and hanging in there and all that other stuff. Because for you, it's just words. If they can't do a simple thing like cut communication with the ex, you don't want to hear anything else. And that is the message. Until next time, Libra, be blessed.